Hello everyone, we are GameEd. I am here to explain the introduction of our project. Learning is fun, especially when we were kids. And as we go older, we start to get bored of curiosity. Teens tend to get bored in class, and when boredom hits you, it becomes hard to focus on class. That is why this project exists. We need to make learning fun again, and to do that, we need the help of video games. Sure, games tend to have violence, but they are not useless. Games can improve our knowledge. Games like Minecraft can improve our creativity. Rhythm games can improve hand-eye coordination. Difficult games like Sekiro, Bloodborne, or Dark Souls improves our reflexes and can teach us patience. Simulators can help us gain experience. The list goes on. Now, picture this. Students having a fun time playing games while they are learning various skills and information while being supervised by the educators on what games. About Game Ed, the idea of Game Ed originated from a concept paper made by Libera DK named Video Games Can Improve Learning, and we expanded upon the idea of the concept paper, the concept of how video games improve learning and how games teach us while we play them. About Game Ed, the logo. The logo is made of three parts, the head, the ears, and the headphones. The head is made to resemble a brain to symbolize the knowledge gained from gaming. Next is the ears, which are made to resemble two sides of the controller that symbolizes the control on what you learn. And lastly, the headphones, which symbolizes the communication amongst fellow gamers. About Game Ed, the mascot. Game Ed's mascot is Gamau Kyoku. Her name is composed of Gamau and Kyoku. Gamau came from the word game, and Kyoku came from the Japanese word Kyoku, which translates to education. And so, in other words, her name means game education. Now we move on to the interviews. We conducted interviews for three selected gamers that are also students. We asked them four questions, each to know what kinds of games they play, how gaming helps them learn, and if video games can help students with education. These are the four questions. What games do you play? Can you name three games that might help you learn? What did you learn while playing those games. And lastly, do you think video games can help students learn? First interview. So, what games do you play? I play Halo Infinite, Fallout 4, Dragon Ball 1 and 2, Minecraft, Terraria, and many more. Can you name three games that might help you learn? Hmm, well, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, Terraria. I learned from those three. What did you learn while playing those games? Well, in the game Stardew Valley, which is about farm management, I learned how to manage my crops and farm animals. In Animal Crossing, I learned how learning and taxes work, and how you pay your mortgage and make investments. And lastly, Terraria is where I let my creativity shine because I build houses and other stuff there. Do you think video games can help students learn? Yes, I think so. I don't have anything to prove right now, but I think video games can help people learn because it helped me be more creative while being entertained. Second interview. Hello, good day. What games do you play? Skullgirls, Second Encore, God Eater, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Dying Light, Eddie games like 
Hollow Knight and Dead Cells, AAA games like Spider-Man Miles Morales or Spider-Man, and a lot of rhythm games such as Taiko no Tatsujin, and many more. Can you name three games that might help you learn? It's not really accurate, but God of War helped me get into Greek and Norse mythology. Survival games teach me about useful surviving tools. What did you learn while playing those games? Many things, but if I had to mention some, God of War taught me about mythologies. Games such as Bloodborne improved my reflexes, and survival games taught me how to survive in certain situations. Do you think video games can help students learn? Yes, video games can teach some things, so the short answer is yes. Third interview. Hello, may I ask, what games do you play? Oh, I really like playing Ori and the Will of the Wisps, the Assassin's Creed franchise, and Guitar Hero. These three are my personal favorites. Can you name three games that might help you learn? Ori, Wordscape, and Jurtic Phone. I learned quite a lot from these games. What did you learn while playing those games? Ah, well for Ori, I learned a lot of valuable lessons from it, which is about showing kindness to others because you never know what a person is going through in life. Wordscapes improve puzzle solving skills and also vocabulary. For the Assassin's Creed franchise, it is very important regarding to this word's history and historical figures like Leonardo da Vinci and Julius Caesar. Do you think video games can help students learn? Why yes! Like I said, video games are very informative. They can help you develop skills and enhance logical and reasonable thinking. They teach important stuff like vocabulary words for a better and more creative communication. Thank you very much for your time. Video game education, how video games enhance knowledge. I grew up playing games and through my experience, they are very fun, entertaining, and educational but not always necessary. There are skills to be learned and mastered, concepts to practice, and overall educational aspect video games. Here are some skills you can learn through gaming. Develop hand and eye coordination, learn puzzle solving techniques, improve math skills, can learn collaboration skills, teach basic survival skills, Persistence and Preservation, Learn Art Techniques. Learns Cartography Skills, Develop Reasoning and Logic Skills. Hello, good day. I'm going to report about Game Eds. So what is Game Eds? It's just simple really. They are games that you can learn valuable lessons from. They are used to deepen your knowledge and allows you to be more open-minded across a multitude of topics. Kinds of game meds. Educational. Educational games are interactive play that teach you goals, rules, adaption, problem solving. They satisfy a fundamental need to learn by providing enjoyment, passionate involvement, structure, motivation, ego gratification, adrenaline, creativity, social interaction, and emotion in the game itself while the learning takes place. Hi fellow gamers, I'm Ismocha and now we're playing PC Building. And let's choose the workplace, workshop I mean. Okay, welcome to PC Building Simulator, to be key, go to your story, open the email program, desktop. Okay, let's check the email. Hmm. Thanks. 
for taking over the PC shop for me so it's not better state a few things the company isn't doing very well it's, there's no money in bank account mm, lots of love my uncle Tim yes I had to borrow $15 for you really know how it is okay um, hello I was building PC earlier for which power supply to buy support creator AD just added Okay, she'll be our app in so hope it's helpful until team. PS I've also given you access to prototype. I'm looking at okay. Okay, so we need to fix something. Computer running slower than usual thing. I click something should happen. Do I have virus? Okay, our leave was hundred dollars. Our objective is to remove the virus and just in the PC. Okay, let's go to the PC. Okay, let's bring the PC here. Okay, for this job, we need to run virus scan. Okay, let's run the virus scan. Let's put it here, and here, and here. The last one here. Insert this picture. We need to use picture to back the PC and insert the virus scanner. Okay. So, let's put this USB drive here now press P power creative these games are games that train your mind to be more sophisticated imaginative and artistic they are also, they are also a stepping stone towards masterful artistry these ki kinds of games falls more on building and drawing so I oh Jan and now we're going to play Minecraft R of Code 2019. So now we are importing. Let's wait to be imported. <laughs> now it's successful import. Now let's wait. It's still loading. Okay, loading resources. Okay, now let's start. And our current quest is talk to the researcher. But let's just stand here for a while. little bit lag mm -hmm. okay let's go let's go to talk to the researcher okay welcome to the researcher center mm -hmm. okay we need the code to open the gate starting tutorial Open the gate, okay. Let's put that orange thing here. And ta da! Okay, quest. And now, talk to the engineer agent, okay. This player agent. Okay, meet your agent start let's put this agent move forward here and press it square thing and ta da okay next another let's talk to the researcher okay and the code builder and now we have a tutorial again Okay, let's put this agent move forward and by four. And let's put this agent analysis forward. Okay. Now our quest is fine and talk to the technician on top of the tower. Okay, here it is. And look over the edge building, you see again. Okay. 
Okay. Here it is. So we need to code. Okay. Starting tutorial. Okay, we need to color the data. And let's put the agent move forward by one. And okay, agent turn left. And agent, another agent move forward. And agent turn left again. And agent analysis forward. Okay, the first agent turn, make it right instead of left. Then the first agent move forward, make it by. Six. The second one by four. I mean two. Then let's add another agent move forward by four. And let's see. And yep. Quest complete. <laughs> okay. Next, go down the ladder and find the head of research. do these kinds of gains help train your body and be fit they also help your reflexes hone to almost perfection these games exercise your mind body and soul all while playing okay next now we're going to play in the first place ah! what's the rest over there doing over there hmm. Hmm. These prophets like to say you gotta strike all the muscles hot. Head to the place marked with exclamation point. Okay, let's go there. Mm -hmm. People are really like this. Don't you remember? It's a dark influence creeping the weakness in your heart and consume you. That's why you have to stop your gawks. I'm sorry you got struck into all this and there's a lot of to take in. Okay? Ah! I'm here to support. Thanks for supporting me. Okay, now let's begin in beginning. Let's see what's our task here. Okay, we just our mission is we just need to reach the goal. All right, let's go. Now we're starting to jog. In. There should be a door just a little further along this path. Okay, exercise long us. Try pressing in on me. Feeling press. You can fire an air blast like this. Remember that. You can fire an air blast like this. <clears throat> Also fire the air blast off to the left or right. Also fire the air blast. Okay. You got it. Hmm. We just. If the aim seems off, they may be misaligned. Just face me downward to recalibrate. If the aim seems off, then mm -hmm. just face me downward to recalibrate. Okay. Oh, I now see a door see up some door here. That's it. Okay, then another door. Okay, good. And other okay. <laughs> I thought it's another door. Oh, watch your step. Oh, watch your step. Okay. Try and pointing me downward and pressing it. Try pointing me downward and pressing it. Okay, nice. You did it! Okay, then 
then a door and a third on top <laughs> and another one Feeling good. and a stair Stairs are easier to climb now if you raise your knees up higher knee lift. so this is an exercise thing We're almost done, I guess. And another door. And ta-da! Brain teasers are games that mentally challenge the player. They test your wit, decision-making, whether fast or slow, reasoning, and logic skills. They are mostly quiz and puzzle games. Okay, next. Um, 2048 so this is just the adding number like when you slide slide 2 plus 2 equals 4 4 plus 4 equals 8 okay oh so now we can see the higher numbers 8 now we just need to add those both 8 and now it's 16 and another 8 then let's add the both 16 number now we have 32 okay i just kept on adding numbers slide lang ng slide up or down okay now we have 64 okay Let's just keep on sliding until we reach or we have a large number. Okay, as of now we only have 64 and 32. Okay, let's just slide and slide. Our score is 604. Okay. Now we have both thirty two and sixty sixteen. I mean, now we just need to add the both. Again, now we have one twenty eight, our higher number, highest number. I mean. And our score is 1,184. Okay. Let's keep on sliding. And we're almost done because we only have one, two square, three square left. Now two square and one square and... Musical. These are games that focus on music. They are also known by the term rhythm games. Not only do these games teach the basics in music notes or beats, they also engrave in your brain the vast majority of instruments that are in the world. Now we're playing Taiko Web. Okay, now. But in Japanese version or drum version, I guess. Then this version is Kai Kai Kai. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is uh, a drum version. Not a piano, piano version. <laughs> and our goal is just to switch those yellow lines. Just need to press the exact circle.
almost enough for that now. <laughs> now let's see what's her score. It's one, two, six, four, ninety. Mm-hmm. Now let's see if it's good, okay, or bad. It's okay! Okay, it's the highest number here. Max combo 25, drum roll 78. Historical. Though, of course, it is possible to forward many definitions of historical game, we work from the open definition of this as these games that are in some way represent the past, relate to discussions about it, or simulate practices related to history. And now we're playing RPG, okay? We're hiding in this bay something. Kinakain of course. I forgot if that's called Soar. Task here is just to escape the area. Let's just run around trying to escape somewhere. Okay, and mm -hmm. oops. Yep, just kill that boat man. I think they are the Kaawai. <laughs> now let's jump around here. And we'll successfully do the task just to escape there. Okay. Now we're going to weapons. Equipment and colors. We just buy something. Darkest alley. Okay, and the pants will be the master musketeer bitch. Okay. Okay, let's go back in the game. Okay, let's just run around. Okay. Game meds, other examples. Educational. Surgeon Simulator. It's a darkly humorous, over-the-top operation sim game where players become Nigel Burke, a would-be surgeon taking life into his own shaky hands, performing life-saving surgical maneuvers on a pass passive patient. Job Simulator is a virtual reality game in which players participate in comical approximations of real-world jobs. Hollow Lab. The game allows students to interact and complete safely in a lab environment without investing in tangible lab equipment. A2. Roblox. It allows users to program games and play games created by other users. Terraria. Features exploration, crafting, painting, building, and combat. Gartic Phone. It is a simple game about drawing. Physically focused. Dance Dance Revolution. Players stand on a platform to hit colored arrows laid out in a cross with their feet to musical and visual cues. Just Dance is a rhythm game series developed and published by Ubisoft. Beat Saber. It takes place in a surreal realistic neon environment and features the player slicing blocks with a pair of contrasting colored sabers. Brain Teasers Wordscape is a word puzzle video game available on Android and iOS. Kahoot It's learning games, Kahoots are user-generated multiple choice quizzes that can be accessed via a web browser or the Kahoot app. Candy Crush is a free-to-play match 3 puzzle video game released by King on April 12, 2012. Musical Guitar Hero 
is a series of music rhythm video games in which players use a guitar-shaped game controller to simulate playing primarily lead, bass guitar, and rhythm guitar across numerous songs. Lucy Dash is a rhythm game developed by Pero Pero Games. Cytos 2 is a music rhythm video game developed by Rayart Incorporation. Historical Call of Duty World War II The game's campaign is set in the European theater and is centered around a squad in the 1st Infantry Division following their battles on the Western Front and set mainly in the historical event of Operation Overlord. Battlefield 5 The game is based on World War II and is a thematic continuation of its World War I based Precursor Battlefield 1 Ghost of Tsushima The player controls Jin Sakai, a samurai on a quest to protect Tsushima Island during the first Mongol invasion of Japan. Game can enhance learning because it is interactive, it helps us participate, and it helps energize us. When in a normal class, you just listen to discussion and possibly take down notes. If we use video games, it keeps us age because we can interact with what we are learning. Not only that, but games that involve physical activity can be used for physical education at, and it can help energize a student to wake up them up so that there shall be no sleeping in class. All of, the, all of that plus involve of fun because a student can get bored in class and if bored they won't have the motivation to do their work if they're bored video games can be the future of learning because they are immersive in just need to approach it with an open mind game edge in action the u.s military use video games to help them train themselves training while also enjoying the gameplay helps boost morale while also enhancing hand-eye coordination, and cooperation amongst teammates. According to an article on Military.com, they use six military video games to help train their troops. These games are Multipurpose Arcade Combat Simulator, Virtual Reality Combat Training, Full Spectrum Warrior, Tactical Iraq, America's Army and Virtual Battle Space 2. Games can be used for many things, not just to kill time, not just for fun. Games can be informative and can be full of knowledge. That's why some schools in other countries use video games as a learning tool. Many schools should use it and not just ignore it. The military even uses it for special training. Game Ed is a term we made that is about video games that can be used as a learning tool. It is also a fusion of the words game and education and are games that can be used as a learning tool. There are six main categories of game games. Educational, which are mostly simulator video games that help you simulate real life activities. Creative, are video games that release the inner artist in you. These kinds of games focus on building and drawing. Physically focused. Are video games that are focused on exercising or dancing. This type of games helps you exercise your whole body while playing. Brain teasers. Are video games that gives your brain a challenge. They are quiz games and puzzle games. Musical are video games that focus on music. In other words, they are rhythm games which help you train your muscle memory, reaction time, and hand-eye coordination while also listening to the beat of the music. Historical are games that are about historical events and people of the past. These games provide a glimpse of the past and how it's like. 